does take politics into the gutter, doesn't it? Well, I think the important thing is tomorrow's Sue Gray report, and we will know, hopefully, the answer to that question. Who was actually running Downing Street on the day-to-day -day basis to allow all these things to happen? I mean, the Prime Minister wasn't there. He's, he's doing his job of uh, going all over the country, of fighting COVID. He doesn't run the day-to-day -day operation. Tomorrow, we should find that out. And those people, if they're still employed, uh, need to go, if I would have thought. But the fish rots from the head down. This is all about leadership. I mean, when I led UKIP, I wasn't necessarily responsible for what every one of the 400 branches did in the country. And yet, if they broke the law or did things that were wrong, I had to pay a political price for it. You can't just say the Prime Minister can walk away from this if her report finds that the culture in Number 10 was... Is it Wine Fridays beginning? I mean, personally, of course, I'd rather enjoy them, but that's not <laughs> the point. You know, he must bear responsibility for the culture there, surely. Well, I'm... I'm up until now, I've refused to speculate on the Sue Gray report, right. so I'm not going to speculate for 24 hours. But the truth of the matter is, the Prime Minister wasn't at any of those uh, parties that you described. The Metropolitan Police spent half a million pounds, 12 mm. defect detectors working for weeks and weeks, and decided that the events that occurred he was not fined for, that they were actually work events. The only time he was fined was he walked into a room, someone surprised him with a, a birthday cake in a Tupperware Which box. Which seemed the least egregious, so, potentially, yes. of all of So if, the, if he was fined for that, you can absolutely be sure that the other events must have been work events. Well, I'm not uh, too sure about the consistency of the Metropolitan mm. Police throughout all of this. I'm also surprised that he called Sue Gray in for a chat. Uh, that will lead some to suggest that he tried, uh, perhaps in some way, to subvert the process. But as you say, we'll find out tomorrow. But this is about his reputation. Do you believe Boris Johnson to be an honest man? Yes, I do. And I think people in my constituency, I guess across the country, think about what the Prime Minister does. The Prime Minister should be chucked out of office if he doesn't do a good job with policy. Now, he, got, he, he did Brexit. And we've got to deal with the Northern Ireland Protocol. He's dealing yes, with that. Yes, and uh, that, you're absolutely right. I asked you, is he a truthful man? Yeah. He told people in Northern Ireland there would not be a border in the Irish Sea when you and I both knew there would be. No, but he didn't, he didn't think the way the EU's reacted, we, they effectively have created a border. Well, it's, it's a you very I, small... For, you and I both knew what it meant no, at the time. I, I, no, I, we did. I did, and you certainly did. Well, I, I, I took the view that trade within the United Kingdom would not be affected. It has been. The Prime Minister is sorting that out. 